number one priority for us at the moment is staffing. Um, I find it interesting to see what other organisations are doing to improve on um, staff shortages, um, different ideas and incentives and what the future will bring with the different um, hour ratios within res care which then has the flow on effect to home care so it's, it's important to keep up with the times. Today has, you know, has been a big eye-opener for me to be introduced to all these lovely available options that are out there to help us to keep our facility at that level of compliance that we need to be able to provide safe and quality care. Yeah, fantastic um, opportunity to work with Ellen and the guys at Event Edge, you know, really looked after us as a sponsor. Um, the ability to connect, you know, not only with um, our peers, people we work with, our clients, also to get together with service providers in our space and just share ideas and what they're doing. It's been really great networking um, across the forum. I think everyone's quite willing to to share and talk and, and socialise, which has been really great. Um, and uh, RL Datex hosting the round table has been a great opportunity to really connect with people. It's a nice opportunity after so long of not being able to get together. It's really nice to get together as a, as a, as a sector and share experiences, I think. Um, whether you're a large provider, a small provider, a private provider or a not-for-profit provider, we're all going through the same experience at the moment. It's a really heavy reform agenda. We're working our way through the reforms coming out of the Royal Commission. I've already started to engage with some of the um, exhibitors with uh, reviewing some of our systems. And I think in particular um, compliance and risk is a key area right through to rostering and some of those technical solutions. I think when you're an organisation and everything's internal and you're talking to your team and you're getting all your ideas internally, but when you combine all organisations from around the sector and their team's knowledge together, you just get so much more ideas uh, and practical applications of things we need to do to improve your care. And Yeah, the EasyMed brand's been promoted very well. Um, we feel like we fit in quite well in terms of the mix and the offer. Um, in terms of the service that we provide, etc., it goes really well with the conference content. So the speakers that are here and the content that's been, been shared has been pretty good. OET's been welcomed warmly by the aged care sector and we've had some really fruitful conversations with them about shortages in the work care, in, in the healthcare sector and how we can address those shortages.